2005 Nissan Altima cam position sensor and crank position sensor replacement. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of replacing well, The reason it. why we're gonna change the cam and the crank sensor is this particular car actually stopped running due to a bad uh, cam sensor and the car will not start and run. But um, there's a TSB on the uh, crank sensor heating up and going bad and causing the car to intermittent stall and it's both original equipment. So I, we figured we'd knock out both, both of one stone and replace the crank and the cam sensor. So um, I'm gonna get started by removing the top engine cover. So we're just gonna remove a, a couple of these Allen screw bolts here and like four spots here. We're getting the engine cover off. The cam sensor is located right here just just uh, to the side of the air cleaner here. It's right here. And so you're just gonna unplug the electrical connector squeeze and pull. So once you get the uh, electrical plug disconnected, underneath this uh, sensor is a 10 millimeter bolt. So you're just gonna need a little quarter inch ratchet with a little one inch extension or maybe just a deep uh, 10 millimeter socket and uh, remove the bolt. So the uh, bolt is removed. You may wanna grab a pair of pliers and grab the actual sensor and twist and pull at the same time to pull it out. It has a little uh, rubber o-ring in there that's kind of sealed that makes it kind of tough to come well, out. After getting your, uh, your old sensor out, match up your new sensor. I would recommend putting a little lubricant on the uh, o-ring here and then push it in place and then put the bolt in. Now you can go ahead and uh, plug your sensor back in. Okay, to get the crank sensor out, we need to get this air snorkel out, uh, the top of the air box out. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and just pop the clips. I'm going to unplug the mass airflow sensor by pushing the clip in, pulling it off, and taking the clamp off, and then moon maneuvering the whole snorkel out. Okay, so now that we got the uh, air cleaner out, the crank sensor is going to be down here on the back side of the uh, bell housing on the transmission here. It's actually on the engine block. So I got a little closer and you can see the wire and I'll wiggle it for you. So you're going to look for this wire. There's going to be a little, uh, the main wiring harness is right here above me, above my hand right here. So you're going to reach around the back. The crank sensor is the exact same sensor as the uh, cam sensor. So it's only going to have the one bolt. Um, it's easier if you leave the electrical connector plugged into it and then uh, with a long extension about about six inches or so extension you come around from the back side so I'm gonna come around here with my extension and put it in through here and you can see I got a ratchet on it and then you follow it in and so you're just gonna remove the bolt and then leave the wire hooked up to it and then once you get the bolt out you'll use the wire and plug and, and kind of wiggle it and pull it out and then once it's out in the in the open here we'll we'll remove the uh electric so now i got the old crank sensor out up here in the open where you can see and um when you when you pull uh this out try not to pull from the wires itself just pull from the elect the connector itself and wiggle and pull it out it, it takes a little effort but you'll get it so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this green tab and push it in towards the uh push it in inwards like this until it lock, you'll hear a little click, and then it, it's going to take a little bit of effort. So once you get that green tab fully pressed all the way down, it'll release the uh, little tab inside here, and you just pull it off the, the old sensor. So now I'm going to take my new sensor and put a little lubricant on the seal, and then I'm going to just plug it back into the uh, the connector here and push them. To, you just push them together, and then this will automatically pop back out and lock into place. Then I'll slide it back into the uh, little hole in the in the block by reaching around. So one of the techniques I use is I use a dental mirror like this, and I'll uh, and I'll use it to uh, to look at the the uh, sensor and the hole where the uh, bolt goes through and make sure it's lined up. And you can twist it left or right once you got it li uh, lined up. So if you can see in my mirror there, there's the bolt the bolt hole. So I'll line it up first. And it's got it's a pretty snug fit, so um, so you can twist it left or right to line up the thread holes perfectly. And once you do that, I'll show you what we do. So now that I got my uh, my sensor in there and uh, the bolt lined up, what I do is I take a piece of paper like this, stuff it into a, a, the socket, and then stuff the bolt in there. And that way you can hold it upside down, wiggle it, shake it, and it won't fall out. And you can just so you'll come back from behind and you'll slide it into it. You have to do it all by feel. And once you get it in, then you can just screw it in and tighten it up till it's snug. Now that the uh, crank sensor is uh, bolted back up, now I'm going to put the air cleaner assembly back on. And uh, any piping or hosing you took off, go ahead and plug that back in. Make sure you 
definitely want to make sure you plug your mass airflow sensor back in. Now you can go ahead and reinstall your top engine cover, clear all your uh, codes, and that will complete the cam and crank sensor replacement on a 2005 Nissan Altima with a 2.5 liter engine. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe for more valuable videos like this. And invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website. Thank you again for watching.